Welcome to the USA where everyone needs a gimmick. The premise of Anomalisa is based around a middle-aged man heading through a midlife crisis. On a business trip, he runs into a girl named Lisa, an extraordinary girl which he wishes to know more. What's so extraordinary about her? Find out in the stop motion feature by Charlie Kaufman. The stop motion in this film is simplistic, but visually pleasing knowing it's intentional. Even if it wasn't intentional, it still is stunning for anyone looking for a different type of film. Stop motion is a dying art because of its difficulty to succeed in a short amount of time. The passion and love it takes to make these beautiful films is so incredible that when any of these types of film come out, I flock to the theater every time. Not the actors themselves, but the amount of actors there are in this movie is baffingly small. Three to be exact. And I'm not going to explain that one. You're going to have to sit through that adventure by yourself. Any movie in the hands of a capable director has the potential to be a box office smash or a pipe bomb. And in the hands of the director Charlie Kaufman, it's neither. Charlie has this great habit of making the film he wants to make, and unlike George Lucas, he doesn't ruin it with an unneeded sequel. Not only that, but he enjoys making films that you could return to time and time again and always walk away with something different to think about. You can watch a play five times and it's going to be different every time because it's alive. The audience relation to a movie doesn't affect the movie. The movie's already set in stone, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so what you can offer people, or at least what I've decided I'd like to try to offer people is an ability to watch this movie now and watch it in five years and have a different experience because you're a different person. Creator of such films as Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind and Synecdoche, Synecdoche, Supton, New York, this movie put my brain in a comatose state, paralyzed my conscience. For a lack of a better term, it messed me up. But that's Charlie Kaufman for you. Here's the deal. I was racking my brain on any way this movie was in a bad form. I thought about the characters, the plot, the setting. Nothing I could come up with was a plausible bad thing about this film. So with this segment is the bad I guess. For instance, some people might not enjoy the setting of the film, as it might give a feeling of claustrophobia, seeing as that its duration is set in one place, and a regular audience today is used to several different locations in a span of an hour i.e. Avengers, James Bond, slash spy movies, Star Wars. Being used to these films and then seeing something like this would certainly have a jarring effect. But again, this is of course intentional. Everything in this movie was made intentionally. From the design of the puppets to the plot itself, it was created to make you think or feel something. Now that is the only bad things I could find or think of, so off to the ass blasting. This movie proves that film can be art. You watch this and you can form your own opinion of what this is about, or the deeper meaning behind it all. It is subjective. The stop motion is enough to make me want to see this, as it is a rare form of film to see nowadays, and well worth the effort. After the good, the bad, and the ass blasting, this gets two stripes. Thanks for watching through the whole video, and please check out anything else on my channel. I could really use the support. So, if you want to, subscribe, like, comment, I don't really care. Just uh, keep on watching. Clear your schedules, gentlemen.